and for the first time they have a complete endoskeleton made up of bones skull jaw ribs all connected they form the base from which the vertebra is going to be derived the numbers and developments were so vast and diverse that they could now dare to take the steps first taken by arthropods and venture into land in search of new ecosystems and food so their bodies are streamlined tailored for an aquatic life coming to their characteristics most of them are cold blooded like chondritic teeth the body is divided into head trunk tail okay and the tail for the first time is monocercal that's basically mean that it's symmetrical two lobes extending from the end of the vertebral column okay that, that's just basically what it means the mouth is going to be terminal as opposed to ventral in chondrix they have uh, four pairs of gills mostly covered by an operculum so this is new or a bony covering on each side so this basically means you do not have to keep on swimming to breathe through the gills they also evolved the crucial air bladder which helped them primarily maintain buoyancy keep them floating without swimming as opposed to chondrics which don't have this ability this air bladder along with helping swimming floating also is going to form the precursor to the lungs in fact in many bony fishes they modified into lungs through which they can actually be able to breathe even air the heart two chambered one auricle one ventricle skin is not covered with placoid scales like the chondrix but with smooth mucus coated and overlapping ganoid okay that's basically a hard and bony uh, stuff with a shiny enamel surface giving its brilliant colors or leptoid which is like concentric layers that is what we draw right when children keep drawing concentric layers on the fishes that is what it is uh and that can be either cycloid or comb like fashion so many varieties that's basically what i'm trying to tell you the both dioecious and hermaphrodites they do not have designated organs like the chondrix they mate externally some bone fishes also ex- exhibit something called parthenogenesis you know what that is so there what happens is that the eggs will develop into an embryo without fertilization so fertilization is external but sometimes you just need to have these sometimes don't you they also exhibit over viviparity and viviparity with direct development to keep learning with such engaging videos download byju's the learning app today